Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Painted Poppies and I used them two poppies and them two leaves. The card I'm going to make now I'm just using the big poppy and them two leaves. The reason for that is I want it to be equal and not have these the yellow ones were from Daisy Lane and they don't show up very well with the white heat embossing. So that's what I'm just going to do three of the big poppies. I'm also using Clubhouse for the happy birthday. Card stock I've got, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and not burnished very well burnished I have got a piece of black card at four and one eighth by three and five eighths and I've got a piece of white which I've already run through the embossing folder this is three inches by no this is three and a half inches by four inches and I run that through this embossing folder and this one's by Sizzix you can see that there and that's what I've done there and that will go on there I've also got a scrap of white and a sc hmm, two scraps of black for the happy birthday I'm using white embossing powder, well, what I've got of it, and Versafine ink, and my heat gun, and that's it. So, let's get these flowers done. Right, I've already got a purple posy one, which I made when I made that card and didn't use it, so I'll use that this time, and two of the smaller leaves. So I only need two flowers and two of the bigger leaves. So ink up my flowers. Yep. And my two leaves and I'm doing them at this end so when I colour them in so I can't see where that one went that's it now with my black I am going to rub it over with the embossing buddy I didn't with the white because I'll be cutting them out so it doesn't matter if it went over the edge but I don't want it over the edge with the black right uh, I am going to stamp that there that'll do get rid of that Bring up some scrap paper. Fold it in half. And that one done.
around it. Need to get some more embossing powder. I think I bought a new one. Alright, I'm going to get noisy while I heat these up. Quarter of tangled up. Cool them down. Didn't see that. There's a bit of um, bossing under the Y. Scrape it up. That's it. And then what we'll do, we'll just Cut this. And there's our sentiment. All done. Right now, I want yellow, pink, and green ink for my colouring in. Let's bring my scrap back. Not that it matters, I made a nice mess on this page already. Right, I've got my green brush, and I'm just going to run over oh that wasn't gonna have to do that again didn't melt properly so let's do another one of them try and melt it properly. Silly me, put it through the wet ink. Never mind. Close this up for now and blast this leaf.
Right, try again. them coloured in. So that's the green is done. Now we need a pink. have a nice pink flower. Right, now what I did with the flowers, really inked up my brush and just dabbed it in the middle so it was a bit darker in the middle, like that. Oh, no, that way, that's it. And now we need a yellow. Now I don't have a yellow brush, so what I'm going to do is make sure my green brush is nice and clean. So with the yellow we'll just go round that in yellow and make it a bit darker in the middle. And we have a beautiful yellow flower. So that's and our flowers. Right, what you need to do is get a a dampish um, wet wipe or a damp cloth. Oh, this might be damp cloth. It is. And then just wipe them down so the green, not the green, the white comes through. That's too wet. Just to take the ink off the emboss powder. And then we're going to cut these out. Now the leaves I'm afraid we cut by hand. Because there isn't a dye for them. But the flowers we cut. Cut by um, with the dyes. Oh, I like the off camera a bit. These are quite easy to cut out with the embossing um, edge. 
because you don't tend to go over, well I haven't gone over it yet even though I'm up close to it Nearly done. Well, with this one anyway. Let's cut this bit a bit closer. So there's one leaf. You can, if you um, cut out emboss by hand, you can actually feel when you're getting, when you're on top of it, because it is a lot tougher to cut than um, normal card. You have to apply a bit more pressure. So that's when you know you're on top of your emboss. There's my two leaves. There's my junk. Right, these two. Junk. Uh, machine. Plates. This will get cut out like this. Nope. Hang on while I find what I'm cutting. Put a bit of tape on it, put a top plate on it, and run it through.
this one. Put that back in the box. In the bin. Right, now we're out. Ready to put this card together. A pair of pointy scissors at me. So that's glue. Right, what did I do? Right. Glue this flat. Extra glue with it being embossed. And then this has um, dimensionals on it. I don't think I've done a card today without dimensionals. This is card number th three I've filmed. And you should see this card next. Well, the day you see this, it'll be Wednesday the 9th, I think, of September. Right, now our three flowers, that, pair, that yellow one's come out really well. I like that yellow one. I want it to come down like that. Put one of these up this end. One of these down here. I don't know if it's that way. And I have the two single ones. And then the happy birthday there. Yeah, I like that. We'll do it that way. Yeah. So, let's... Glue our leaves down first. Glue this one. Glue glump on the pad. Right. Not a case of the drops is today. Round. 
and that I'm going to just glue there in fact I could do with a little a small um, dimension one for that Everything's so fiddly today. That's it. My only thing that's left is to put gems on. Now, I need to go and get them because I haven't got them. Right, I'm going to put one here, one here, and um, one there. I think a parcel's being delivered today, and it's for my sister. Not for me. Right, that is my card for today. Same technique, just a little different layout. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.